well, the place I'm going to is supposed to be along Serangoon Road. Uh, actually, Buffalo Road to be exact. Block 663. Wait a minute. This is Block 663, but it doesn't look like a place with lots of food. It actually looks like an HDP flag. Yep. Uh, did I get the address wrong? Is it Block 663? Maybe it's beside it. There's this blue building beside it. Maybe that's the place we're going to. Uh, hopefully, because Block 663 looks like a residential area. Unless I'm eating at somebody's home, which I don't think so. So, this is Teka Center. Yes, Teka Center. I'm gonna go in here to get some food. Maybe some breakfast. We are going in here to get some food. Yes, some food at Teka Center. And the first thing we are here is at Sri Achi and they sell appam. Appam. And this is it. It's two dollars and fifty cents for two of them. Appam. And here it is. Freshly made as you order it. There's two there. Can you see? Yep, two of them. So you have it. Slightly crispy on the outside and nice and fluffy on the inside, eaten together with coconut milk and sugar, which is orange in color. But it doesn't taste like orange, it tastes like sugar. But this is it, this is a traditional Indian breakfast. Yep, so here it is. Uh, slightly crispy, not that crispy at the sides there. But Nice flavor from there. It's very very slightly sweet, but you dip it in the sugar. That gives it a nice sugariness. And then you also can dip it in the coconut milk. The coconut milk is sweetened and nice coconut flavor goes well with the upper. And then on the inside there, still hot. Yes, still hot. But ooh, nice and fluffy. Very very fluffy. Soft like a cloud. But dip it in sugar, Ooh, that is nice. Okay, I do not know how a cloud tastes like, but it's fluffy. I assume clouds are fluffy, which I don't think they are, but that's my imagination. And if you like it to be sweeter, just dip more sugar into your pump. But ooh, this is good, this is very good. Yes, this is what happens when you eat good food. People ask you where you buy it. No. But it's okay, you know. Share the good food. And then after you they you instruct them of the location, you continue eating. This is good though. Yes, the middle part is definitely, definitely fluffy. When you dip it into sugar, it's sugar into. And then the sugar gives it a bit of a crunchiness to it too. Yeah, so you have a fluffy in middle part together with a bit of a sugary crunchiness grains in there. Mm. Sweet and yummy. Yummy yummy for my tummy. Very very good breakfast. Uh, just that they also put a uh, half appam with egg cheese and also chocolate which I am very tempted to come back and try again one day maybe I'll buy another plain one and then I'll have all the flavors that they sell at the store and of Appam but they also have sell other things which yeah that will be another video probably down the road don't know when but so far I must say this is a very good breakfast and I'll be coming back again to try more Appam I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's good. You should come here and give it a try if you like it. I definitely do. Oh yes. Uh. Ooh. Yep. The coconut milk definitely is nice, refreshing, sweet. Ooh, nice. 
Another thing you can have for breakfast is from this shop here called Prata Saga Sambal Berlaga. Berlaga. And they sell Prata. So if you want Prata, you can come to this shop. They sell a uh, good Prata. I don't know why they, why they actually cut up the Prata for me. You know, uh, previously they just give me two pieces when I ordered two poso. This time I ordered two poso and one egg and they cut it up all for me. You also can get a plastic fork and spoon to eat it together with this, but I decided to use my hand, your fingers. Fingers, because you know, using your hand will be a bit, uh, the whole hand will be a bit messy. So it's served together with a curry. This is a chicken curry with chickpeas in it. Slightly sourish, slightly spicy, very flavorful. It goes very well with the prata. So I'm going to try the prata, dip it in the curry. One thing I do like about this prata is the texture of the prata. The prata has a very nice chewy bite, bite texture to it, which is very nice. And then we eat the egg one. The egg one has a bit of fluffiness that came that comes from the egg. One thing that I don't like about this prata is it's not crispy. So the prata, they cook it, they put it aside, and then when you order it, they put it onto your plate. Uh, so it's not freshly cooked, but they do have a very, very, how do I say this, a lot of turnover. So the prata on average is still quite fresh, just that it's not crispy. Which a lot of other places, you know, fry it as you order it, you know, so you get crispier prata. So here, the curry is good. The curry is also slightly sour, which helps, you know, with the prata, goes well with the prata. It's uh, with chickpeas and chicken, chicken curry. Uh, savory, uh, spicy, and a slightly sour, but goes very well with the prata. Other than it not being crispy, the prata here is good. Uh, so, yeah, if you like prata, this is a uh, decent prata place. And unfortunately, this brings us to the end of our breakfast here. So, as per usual, like, share, and subscribe. Support me on Patreon or PayPal if you can afford it. If not, I will lock you into this jail. And as per usual, you know what to do. The most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you all around. Guys, girls, and others too. Bye-bye.